hands. We've got the whole world in our hands. We've got the whole world in our hands. So it's two days before Africa burn and the mad packing has started. Um, here's a quick guide of what you need to prepare. Okay, so we've got some poles, rebar. Important thing for fire is a proper um, fire pit. We're using an old washing machine outer and inner um, drum, which is handy because you can take all your crap home with you. We leave no trace, bicycle, all important water. We've got our 25 liters water per person, bry equipment, something to cool you down, sprinkler system that's portable. Very important ground cover. It gets dusty out there, very, very dusty. Uh, we've got carpet, we've got some netting, um, serious stuff. Um, we've got a medical kit over there. Crabs and scratches, stuff for the sun, a multiple selection of hats to make you look fabulous. Tool, toolbox, general purpose tools, very important. Cable ties, although it leaves a mess, it can really save you. For our watermelon time bomb, we've got watermelons, we've got a UV light, LED UV can. We've decided this year to operate only on solar. Um, it uh, avoids all this rubbish of a generator and some noise. Pots and pans, we've got our signage over there. Um, tables, shower, camping chairs. Some decoration. We've got interesting goggles to keep the dust out of our eyes. And most importantly, we've got our red noses to make sure that we act serious and responsible. So this is your three minute tour of how to prepare for Africa bird. And then it was time to pack everything in the trailer, including the wood and everything we need to build our home in Tankwa town. Checking a food to make sure they're roadworthy before we hit the road. So after spending the night in Green's mum in Cirrus, we got up early the next morning, hitting the road north, into the sun. We enjoyed the last few kilometers of Tar Road before we hit the dreaded gravel road. On the way we passed multiple walkers doing the Tankwa Camino, a 230k walk in 10 days. So Karin just finished the interview with the people walking the Kamika, what the Tankwa Camino. Yes, it's 236 k's walked in 10 days. Crazy, crazy people. From Calvinia to Sierras and it's basically, if you want to lose and find yourself, do this. Give us some of the sample questions, honey. If I could start my life over, what would I change and what advice would I give to others also? Where do I hurt and where do I feel pain? And then, what advice would I give to myself if I was 25 or 21 years old? Think of everything basically. So, okay, a serious uh, moment before we hit a dirt track to Africa Burn 2017. Switching drivers? Yes. So um, honey, what words of wisdom do you have? Drive very slow, especially if you have a heavy load. They just told us that there's already a lot of people on the road and if you can the speck over there, if you, you can already see all the dust, that is basically the road we're going to follow. So I think a lot of people are getting just as smart as us and they stay over in closer towns. Um, or oh, they left Cape Town very, very early. Like at 2 o'clock, 4 <laughs> o'clock. I think it's good that you sleep before the time. We are well rested, even though we were very tired yesterday from packing. It's Our life is in there at the moment. Yeah, so... <laughs> Just go so slow. take it slow, be safe. Yes. Don't and be be very don't be, serious. Don't be a cowboy. Yeah, don't be a cowboy. Don't be a cowboy, it doesn't work here. Yeah. Decarpenage. So join us again next week uh, as we hit the gravel road to meet up with our friends from Joburg and finally arrive in Tankwa Town. Please comment below to give us 
your advice for people going to Africa burn and to become part of our adventure hit the subscribe button now